One of the problems with Google being very greedy and trying to crawl and index almost every file type and every URL they can find is that they will also end up trying to index, say, PDF or even kind of binary formats like you know, Word documents or Excel spreadsheets, etc. The problem with these files is that you can't implement meta tags and you can't just go to the HTML because there is no HTML there. So you can't apply a no index as you would normally do. The problem gets even bigger if you think not only about files but also about fragments, say like you know, JSON objects or parts of an AJAX call or anything that's kind of processable by Googlebot. So we need a way to tell Google and other search engines how to deal with non-HTML files. And that is why Google introduced what they call the XRobots directives. There are three different types. The first one is an XRobot tag. The idea is that you can apply a noindex not only through a meta tag um, in HTML, but also through a server header. If you have a file type that is non-HTML, but you don't want to show it in search results, then you can do the same annotation with the same values and then apply it through your web server. The syntax depends on what type of web server you're actually using. If it's an Apache, you can, for example, do it in htaccess. Or if you are on a web server called Nginx, you can do it in the server configuration. Another header was introduced a bit later, and it's called the xrobots rel canonical. What happens if, say, you have a PDF, which is a white paper, and then you have the same version in HTML, you know, available on your website? A PDF can, for example, be linked stronger from externally. This makes it very much likely that Google will show the PDF in the search results. From the user perspective, it's probably not the best user experience, as they would have to download the full PDF and kind of wait for it until the download finishes. It would be better for that person to end up on a proper website, you know, with a full navigation. You can use an XRobots or a canonical header. So you can set a canonical tag for this specific PDF on the server level using the header and not an HTML tag, you know, then point from the PDF towards the HTML version. Even if the PDF is more relevant or stronger linked, for example, in the search results, Google will then rank the HTML version. It should also be mentioned that for example, href lang, which we will cover later um, in the international chapter in more detail, can be applied using a server header as well. Generally, xrobots directives are meant for you know, everything that is not HTML. However, if you don't want to, um, you don't have to use HTML annotations at all. You could you know, control everything on the server level if you feel like it. Keep in mind you know, that some of the crawling tools are still not really 100% capable of showing you know, directives on the server level or in the server headers. So there might be issues with those. You know? But from a Google perspective, it doesn't really matter if you use HTML or the server side. It's essentially all the same.